I feel the biggest flaw with the YouTube app is that we always have to keep the app open and running to watch any of the videos. Not like there's anything wrong with that, the app was meant only for that purpose. But sometimes when you only want to listen to audio and would like to turn off your phone to save power, or maybe other times it would be nice if the video portion would float around and work anywhere on the home screen or while running any other app, which would really be helpful while watching a tutorial or while multitasking. And if you share the same thoughts, here are a couple of quick ways you can both run YouTube videos at the background even when your phone is locked and also maneuver around the YouTube portion of the video and control it on your home screen or wherever you like. So coming to the first one, to run a YouTube video in the background or when the phone is locked, you first have to download the Firefox app. You can get it on both Play Store and App Store. Once Firefox has been downloaded and installed, don't open it yet. Before that, go to the YouTube app, select and play the video you like. Now click on the share button on the top right. Click on copy link which copies the link to the clipboard. Now close the YouTube app, open Firefox. Now paste the link in the address box and click enter. Once the page opens, you can start playing the video and that's it. You can close the app if you like and it still runs on the background or you can even lock your screen and the audio still works. So this can be very handy when you like to listen to music directly from YouTube but you don't want to watch the video. So you can just play the video, lock the screen and listen to the music. Now coming to the second one, to play, resize and control the YouTube video outside of the YouTube app, you will need to download this app called Floating Tube Player. It's available only for the Play Store but there are similar apps in the App Store as well. Once you have downloaded this app, open it and you can start using it right away. So this opens an app quite similar to the YouTube app. You can sign in to your YouTube account if you like. Otherwise you can also start playing the videos right away. You can play any video you wish like in the YouTube app or even search for any video. Once you click on any video, it opens in this small window and you can basically do whatever you want with this window. You can move it around by holding the top red bar. You can even exit the app and the pop-up window will still work. You can move it around anywhere you like on the home screen. To resize the video, press and hold the bottom right edge and resize it according to how you like, horizontally or vertically, according to the size you like. You have a few more controls at the top here. If you press the first one, it takes you back to the app. So if you navigate away from the app, you can just press the first button and it takes you back to the app. Tap the second one and you can go into full screen mode. So anytime, anywhere, if you just press this, you can go to the full screen mode. You can also minimize the app by pressing the minimize option. So then this little symbol comes, which you can drag anywhere you like. And to exit this app or to close the player, just tap the cross option, which closes the player. You can view and control this pop-up window anywhere on your phone. You can even open other apps and multitask while the video still plays in the small window. And you can resize it and do whatever you like with the small window. So this is a really cool feature to have which can be very useful. Also another bonus thing about this app, it serves the first purpose as well. You can play a YouTube video in the background with this as well. So after starting, so after you start playing a video, even if you lock the screen, the audio will still play. So this app kind of sorts both the needs. So these were two very easy methods that would optimize your YouTube experience. I keep using these methods from time to time and I found them to be very helpful. I hope you found this video helpful. Give it a thumbs up and also share it with someone who you think would benefit from it. 
Also subscribe to Simple Reviews on YouTube and follow us on social media. That was all for now and I'll see you guys next time.